Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to prepare a model design for being cut out in a CNC router. So I have this design over here that I want to cut with my CNC router. So as you can see it's in SOLIDWORKS so I have to export it into the Fusion 360. To do this I have to save it as a step file. So over here I just uh, select a step file, a step format of this um, uh, file, save it and then I can go into the Fusion 360, import the design using this uh, button over here called file, open and here I have to open from my computer and here I have all the designs and I open the, the one I want. So here it is. And now I have to switch from design to manufacture. And first off, I have to um, create a setup. So using this button over here, I create a setup. Here, uh, the first thing I, I'm going to do is to select the origin uh, in one of the corners. Uh, and then in the second tab uh, stock I will select no additional stock and that's pretty much it for the uh, setup now I want to cut out these holes first so uh, in the 2D section I'm selecting bore operation now I will select the tool and I have in my library uh, two tools and that I often use and the one I'll use is this 3mm one so I just double click it it um, automatically puts my settings over here now I'll have to select the geometry all of these holes will be cut with this tool and the same operation so I'll just select all of them okay now uh, my CNC router isn't very powerful and stiff so I have to change some things in the passes uh, tab I have to uh, switch the pitch into 0.3 millimeters because uh, it's a little easier for my CNC to work with. Here, clearance height I change for, for 5 millimeters and retract height to 2 millimeters so it doesn't move uh, in the Z axis too much. And here, bottom height I change to minus 0.2 so it will go a little uh, deeper into the stock so it's sure to cut it. Uh, entirely through the stock and that's pretty much it for this operation I don't change uh, other settings now I want to cut off this this part which is um, opening for the NEMA 23 motor so I'll use um, 2D control to do this and the tool is automatically selected from the previous operation and here I will select the uh, geometry which I want to cut which is this bottom one and then I will add tabs so it's easier for me uh, to later remove it because without tabs the inside uh, cylinder of stock uh, will be left hanging there it could move or get bumped by the nil. I can see there are five tabs which is uh, too much for me uh, here tab distance uh, I will select let's say 40 and there I will have only three tabs so it's um, it takes less time and it's easier to cut off them okay so now I will change heights as well here I will give 5, 2 and 2 
and also bottom height I will set to minus 0.2 the same thing as the in the previous operation uh, and here I will uh, turn off the lead in and lead out because when the end wheel moves out of the way with this option enabled it hits the stock which is inside of the circle uh, and it put uh, it puts a lot of stress on the end mill and the entire machine and also I'll enable the ramp so it doesn't plunge into the, the stock uh, and instead it moves circular uh, moves so it's way easier for the router to to bite into the stock here I have to change the ramp clearance because uh, the heights I've said before are uh, a little le less than this one was um, by default and also I have to go to passes tab and select multiple depths because uh, I don't want my machine to be too stressed so it doesn't break and it gives uh, a better results with this uh, operation and with this uh, passes and that's also pretty much it for this operation okay so we can see how it will look like now I have to cut off the entire part from the stock and also I'll use a 2D control for this and select the external contour pretty much the same I will set the tabs and here uh, there are too many tabs for my taste so I'll change the tab distance to let's say for 550 gives uh, a little less of them I think it will be enough uh, heights again I'll change it to my preferences and bottom height minus 0.2 also passes and multiple depths uh, 0.3 and linking disable lead out and lead in and enable a ramp and also a ramp clearance set to one millimeter again the, the tool is automatically adapted from the previous operations and we have entire NC program done we can select the setup on the left side and see the simulation for this and we can hit play and see how it will go here with the slider we can speed it up or slow it down or, or even reverse it but we'll go with uh, moderate speed to see if it's uh, doing a good job with uh, cutting the stock okay I pretty much always do this to check if it's um, correctly being set up so I don't waste any materials on time it looks like it's uh, being set good so now I will show you what would happen if we wouldn't turn off the lead out and lead in so I will turn it on and as you can see over here we have lead in which doesn't hit anything but in this uh, situation you can see uh, it gets into the middle one middle circle and he hit hits it with its entire height so entire heart will be cut off in uh, one pass I'll show it for you on the simulation so once it's been cut you can see oh, over here you can see it will go finish the passes and it will go inside with the entire pretty much entire length of the tool 
which will cause a lot of uh, friction and might damage some parts. Okay then. Well, as we have it set up, I'll turn it off. This and this. Okay. And now, if we turn it off, it will just move upwards when it's finished. Now, when we have the entire thing set up, uh, we have to click on the setup over here and then we can post process it. Here, you can select your um, post processor. I'll use Marlin CNC uh, for my CNC router. And here, we can type a name for our program which will be this name post it and it will save an NC program uh, where we want it and then we can uh, upload it to, into the CNC machine and cut it out so that's everything for today's video thanks you for watching and I will see you next time